Cape Breton's award-winning radio station, The Coast 89.7, home of the VIPs. We hauled the last basket from the mine On an early summer's day, so warm and fine Cried, miners paced the floor. This town's not a mining town no more. This town has been our life, it's been our home. We raised our children here all on a road. And what the future holds, we'll wait and see. But this mining life's been awfully good to me But the town of Valley Lane I will not forsake It's done more than a mining town can do For anyone to the north of your onshore They no longer draw the ore This town's not a mining town silent on the hill A monument to promise unfulfilled The work is gone They flood the underground We drive down 108 and out of town Hydro deals the cards and holds the hands Values they don't understand The profit margins justify their means And tear apart inconsequential dreams But the town of Valley Lane I will not forsake It's done more than a mining town can do Coast 89.7, Men of the Deeps, and uh, what a true song ever was sung, ever wrote, uh, Mining Town No More. On this date, the 24th of February, 1979, will live in Glace Bay's memory as one of the most terrifying dates in all of its history. Through all the years of mine accidents, mine closures, and other setbacks, there was never anything like this. The lives of 10 young men were ended in the depths of the number 26 colliery, at 4.25 a.m. of number 26 colliery on Saturday in a single but devastating explosion. And 300 miles away in the burn unit of Victoria General Hospital in Halifax, six fellow workers, with the aid of top doctors and nurses, tended to their burns. 33 years have passed since that fatal day. And yeah, one thing about community radio here is that 
you know, uh, the manager here, Bill McNeil, now and then, you know, he lets us speak from our heart and play the music that is so much of our culture here in the industrial area of Cape Breton. And uh, today I'm going to honor the miners of 26 Colliery and all fellow coal miners that, how can I say it, uh, started their shift off in hell but ended it in heaven. These are the men of the deeps and the 26 mine disaster. One winter's morn in 79, while the snow lay still without, was four o'clock on a 26 wall, as the 16 moved about. An explosion ripped and it rocked the pit, as smoke from the bottom began to spit. And the silence left would now admit There are ten men gone Into the depths in the frozen dawn A clergyman was led There in a fright his eyes were drawn To the side of the burned and dead With courage bold he did unfold The grace of God in the tunnels cold then the town was sadly told there are ten men gone. Far from home, the survivors waved, brave battles for their lives. Help from many sources pledged, brought comfort to their wives. But ere the churches hushed their hymns in sad and solemn requiems, new from Halifax was grim there are twelve men gone twelve men gone no time to cry or bid farewell but the mind of place may long will dwell under twelve men gone oh, the Collier's life is a cruel life, as the time so lately tell. Peace to those who've gone before, to the rest grow strong and well. May God be with you, everyone, the miner and the miner's son, the women and the babies yet to come and those twelve men gone Reflection of the spirit and soul of Cape Breton. We are the coast, 89.7, home of the VIPs. It's Dennis Chipman with you here till uh, 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, and uh, the things I'm reading from uh, an old journal that my uh, late mother-in-law kept, and uh, she left to me in her will, and she, she kept, 
scrapbooks and uh, throughout the various years. And, of course, uh, the one that means so much to me is the one here from 1979 and all about the, the explosion at number 26 Colliery. Uh, and uh, one of the things here, Memorial Day is declared uh, Wednesday, uh, 1979 declared a Memorial Day in Glace Bay, Dominion, and the mining districts of Cape Breton County. A memorial service will be held Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock at the Old Miners Forum. Mayor Dan Monroe and the Cape Breton Development Corporation is cooperating in getting the, the forum ready for service. Something close to 10,000 people. 10,000 people showed up for that memorial service. Uh, schools in Glace Bay, Dominion, and the surrounding counties were called off, and all students, parents, even people that didn't have people working in the coal mines came to this uh, Remembrance Day, Memorial Day uh, prayer and song. Men of the Deeps were there, and I, too, I, I was there with my family, my father. I, I guess why it means so, so much to me, because I, I was a, a coal miner, too, before I uh, started on the radio here, 22-some years in the coal mines. And uh, every morning, uh, I have coffee with a friend of mine, a good, good friend of mine, that survived that disaster. And, uh, well, when I went up for my coffee this morning at 6.30, I, just, I, I didn't say anything. I just walked over and, and uh, shook his hand and, uh, you know, I thanked him to myself for, you know, for his sacrifice. And uh, the song by Matt Minglewood and Andrew Doyle that he uh, put out a few years ago, uh, uh, that's the song I was thinking about in my head, and I'm going to play it here now. And it's called The Price. <laughs> at 16 then you never look back underground way down in the coal mine well boy became a man and left his childhood ways behind spent my life swinging a pick at an endless black sea as hard as I try to wash it off I'll never get my hands clean
Coast 89.7, Andrew Doyle and Matt Miglewood, and a lot of men did. A lot of men paid the price. I'm Dennis Chipman, sitting with you till 6 o'clock today. This is the 33rd anniversary of the 26 mine disaster, and uh, I thought I'd just do a little bit here about uh, the coal mining and uh, uh, about this lovely little scrapbook that was left to me in my mother-in-law's will, and it's uh, clippings from papers of the day, uh, of that terrible day. Uh, and uh, now that was on a Saturday. The disaster at number 26 Colliery in Glace Bay was one of the worst in Cape Breton coal mines, mine history since uh, 1938. And as a matter of fact, it was the worst in Glace Bay since 1899. Uh, and now, uh, just before Christmas, a couple months before Christmas, I had Matt Anderson in, here, in, in studio here. And Matt and I were talking, and uh, Matt had moved to Dominion then, and uh, I, I, a few times Matt was in, we were talking, and I always said to Matt, you know, gee, Matt, it'd be good to, uh, if you could get a, a coal mining song out. And uh, I guess eventually he did put pen to paper, uh, and he did write a song about the coal miners, and I'm going to play for you here. Uh, this is Mr. Matt Anderson, and this, this is a great song. You know, uh, uh, at the gym this morning, as I go to Perry's gym in the morning there, and uh, I was talking to a couple old coal miners, uh, John Chowder, a good friend of mine, and, uh, of course, a uh, good friend, uh, John Kelly, that uh, works out every morning with me. And, uh, you know, I, I said to John Kelly, I said, you know, today is the 33rd anniversary of the 26 mine disaster. And, uh, you know, he, he put his head down, and, and he bowed his head down. And, you know... It, it, it really said a lot because it didn't matter if you were rank and file UMW, uh, it didn't matter if you were management or whoever. Uh, it was one of the one times that the whole community uh, really stood together shoulder to shoulder in support of the families that lost, lost loved ones or lo loved ones that were injured in that mine disaster. Uh, and uh, this song by Matt Anderson, it's a great song. It's a great song. And uh, Matt went on to say he has a lot of respect for coal miners, and he came up with this song called The Coal Mining Blues here on the coast, 89.7. <laughs>
89.7. Well, I want to thank you very much for uh, bending your ear for me this afternoon for my tribute to uh, the coal miners of number 26 Colliery and all coal miners, like I said, that may have started their shift out in hell, but uh, surely, surely they ended in heaven. And for the 12 men that died in number 26 Colliery, James Anderson from Dominion, uh, a neighbor of mine in Dominion, uh, Billy Cook, um, my wife Marlene's uncle, uh, died in that explosion, uh, Michael Roberts, Fabe Young, Wayne Mills, Fred Matheson, Paul Purcell, Reggie McNeil, Cliff Sharp, and the two coal miners that died later on in Halifax a couple of days later, John McNeil and Albert Hall. And of course, to those who survived, Kevin King, Kevin Binston, George Stubbert, and Wayne McGinnis. This is a song going to end off this little tribute this afternoon. It's uh, from Jimmy Intram, Glace Bay. Uh, it was wrote by Ken McLeod of Glace Bay, and I had the opportunity, the privilege to see Ken perform this song a couple of years ago at the Friends of Jack at the Lambert Todd Festival in Reserve Mines, and uh, it was a great song, and I'm going to play it off, I'm going to end off my show today with it. This is Jimmy Inch and the Men of 12 South. <laughs> It's a date we'll all remember With the passing away of time February 24, 1979 Everything was normal When they stepped to the cage Descending down that open shed To start working the Shoveling, blasting That's what it's all about Knowing this was their last ship Men from 12 South All their friends and families The ones they left behind These men were gas miners Peace we know they'll find God looks down South Wall 
disappeared It's just memory On Cape Breton Island It's a part of history As I sit here thinking It echoes in my mind February 24, 1979 Someday, the men from 12 South Wall.